Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 208 pounds. Fighting out of Minos, Arizona, Brazil, the Gambler. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready? All right, here we go, round one, outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing gets the canvas? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. He lands a big left there. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, nice jab. Single collar tie now. Punch is good. And that left hook landed on the button. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Punch. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. And 
Both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, what a head kick. And they separate. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Try to establish that jab. Gets the single collar tie. Right hand on point. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Takedown defense holds up. Cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Great punch. Just missing on the high kick there. Nice kick. Misses with the right hand. there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Beautiful body kick. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Wow, huge head kick. And what a round! All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their toes. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience, shows his fight IQ. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Nice. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. He blocks the shot. Oh, 
Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Big roundhouse now just misses. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. That's a big strike right there. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, big punch land. Just a slip there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Ooh, what a punch. Seconds left to go in round two. Wild swing there. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. All right, round three coming up next. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big 
Big left. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, that's a nice strike. Unable to land on the upper. Oh, yeah. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Whip his hip into that kick. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, he's got it right here. Oh, big left hook there. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Just over three minutes to go. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Pretty good right hand. Tie here. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Good fight here, under two to go. Oh, huge block! Well, you gotta admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Straight punch lands. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Ele 
já desistiu. Já deu pra ver. É agora que você vai chegar lá e vai acabar com. Fourth round, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, big knee to the body, man alive! Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! He's out! There is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at one minute, one second of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Handily knocking another man out. Yeah, you set a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.